In the 1920s of America, the economy flourished. People were buying stocks, getting rich, and living the best life they could. But in 1929, there was a stock market crash, causing a Great Depression. At the time of the Depression, the president was Henry Hoover. During the Depression, he didn't treat it as severe as it actually was, basically shooing it off saying, we'll get over it people's response to this, they decided to make a big Hooverville outside the White House and protest. Specifically veterans from World War I wanting their bonus wages for being in the war. This whole operation was shut down with violence. Fast forward to the year 1932, when Franklin D. Roosevelt became president. During the first hundred days of his presidency, he speedily made several government programs to fix the effects of the depression, and during all this, FDR had a radio show called the fireside chat my most immediate concern is in carrying out the purposes of the great work program just enacted by the congress this broadcasting show is where he communicated to the u.s citizens about what is going on with things such as the economy how he's trying to fix it and the actions he's making to fix these types of things and you may be like wait gage how does th these facts about these two presidents have anything to do with Fortnite. Well, surprisingly, these big events are very related to the same situation Fortnite is going through right now. Now, in the 1920s of America where the economy is flourishing, this represents the season two through four of Fortnite, AKA the golden era. And in 1929, when the stock market crash happens and Henry Hoover is the president, this represents the time we are in right now. We are constantly left in the dark about what's happening and are just meant to deal with it. And when the people made a Hooverville outside of the White House and protesting, this represents all the people spamming revert on all the Fortnite tweets and streamers saying openly that they don't want to play Fortnite anymore. No matter how much the people protested, if the president decided to not do anything, then they had to deal with it. And that situation seems awfully familiar what Fortnite's going through right now. No matter the amount of reverts we post on Twitter or streamers basically saying they don't want to play the game anymore, Fortnite has a monopoly over the gaming community entirely, and especially the streamer. And with whatever Fortnite says, it goes, and we can't do anything about it. Now, when Franklin Roosevelt became the president, this is what Fortnite could be. Franklin Roosevelt was transparent with the US citizens and making a show where he could directly communicate to the citizens. And clearly this works because he served four presidencies. Yes, four times when you're only supposed to serve two. Clearly this was a system that worked. And this is why I'm saying Fortnite needs a fireside chat. This could be a once a week live stream on Fortnite's YouTube. It can be talking about the latest patch and talking about the community's feedback and making fixes based off of community feedback. And guest streamers and pro players can come on representing the community's opinions about the game. And I'm not gonna lie, that would be really cool to see like a developer and a player just sitting at a camp, uh, a fire and eating cookies and just talking about Fortnite. And not only that, it'd be good publicity for Fortnite and causing a ton of other developers to lead in their footsteps, making video games better as a whole. Imagine all the influence Fortnite already has on other games and times that by 10. This is what that would be doing, making like the gaming community better as a whole, making better games. Anyways guys, if you did like the video, please share this with a friend because I really do think this is a great idea that like needs to get heard because like this would change the game so much for the better. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And use code NerdPerior in the Fortnite item shop. Thank you guys, and peace. I'll see you in the next one.